We need to talk about something that's in this book. Well, many things that are in this book. If you are a member of the World Mission Society Church of God, then you know what this is. Uh, or a former member, you know exactly what this is. This is the new song hymnal book of the WMSCOG or the Mother God Cult, however um, you know it as. This is the book that they use, the hymnal book that they use. They sing from it, they worship from it in their services. There's something in here though, that especially if you're a member, you need to be aware of. Um, what made me think about this is this whole debate and argument surrounding Christmas, Easter, and Sunday worship. If you run into a World Mission Society Church of God member, if, you're, uh, if you are approached by them, or if you sit in a Bible study with them, one of the first foundational things that they are going to tell you is that all Christians are, are evil, they're following Satan, and one of the primary reasons they say that is the case is because they are they celebrate pagan holidays. So they'll say Christmas and Easter, they're pagan. They'll say Sunday is a pagan idea. So they'll say that because these holidays originated and these pagan practices that originally things like Christmas and Easter, they, they came from uh, false God worshiping people who set up these specific days and, and times to worship false gods. The WMSCOG will then accuse Christians and say, now you guys have simply adopted these pagan holidays and, and kind of stamp the name of your God on top of it. And so they'll say that's evil. That's unacceptable. That that's proof that you're following Satan. You're all, you know, on the road to hell, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you are a member of the church, the WMSCOG, I don't want to call it a church. It's not a church. It's not the church. It's a cult. But if you are a member of that group, you are entirely familiar with what I'm talking about right now because that sort of concept, that sort of ideology about the, the evil of Christians who celebrate Sunday or, or worship on Sunday or celebrate Christmas and Easter, you know, you know all about that. You hear it all the time. But this presents, your own book presents a gigantic and enormous uh, contradiction and a proof of, of the absolute hypocrisy of that argument that the WMSCOG uh, uh, argues against Christians with. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you about that. I'm gonna show you what's some, some things that are inside this book that make that whole argument, which again is one of the foundational basis of, of their whole theology is kind of rooted in, so largely rooted in this idea that all Christians, all other churches are evil because of, of you know things like Christmas and Easter and Sunday worship. So I'm gonna tell you about that. But first, I just wanna say this. I am calling right now the World Mission Society Church of God. This it's a cult, and I'm calling it. Uh, I'm calling it out for its hypocrisy right now. I, I'm not intending to come across as angry, hateful, or vengeful toward members or you who might be watching that that might believe in this group. I'm doing this video, I'm saying these things, I'm gonna show you th some things in this book, not out of this, this desire to just make the, you or anybody else look stupid or look bad. I just, it, it, you need to see, I just know that you need to see the truth. You're being deceived, you're being lied to, and there are some things that you don't know, you don't understand, and, and I feel compelled to just give you some information that I think will help you to find truth. And so again, I'm not intending to insult or um, belittle or, or uh, anything like that toward anybody. Um, I'm saying this out of a genuine concern and desire that you would know the truth, that this whole argument about Sunday, Christmas, and Easter, it's ultimately, when you see some things in here, it's a sham. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm setting this up a lot, but I want to, before I show you what's in here, I want to read an example comment from, from somebody I got. Um, I, I've been sharing videos in the past month or so about this topic of Christmas, Easter, Sunday. And so I've been getting comments from World Mission Society Church of God members and others who kind of answer back. And here's an example uh, of, of what I, uh, what arguments that the WMSCOG gives and, and where the hypocrisy lies. So this person says, it is not just the fact that you are worshiping your God on the same day as the pagans. 
it is that you are doing the same thing as the pagans. You are not giving a celebration to your God. You are doing exactly as the pagans, but throwing Jesus's name on it. You are joining in the pagans' revelry as it is written in the Bible. I would actually believe you are rambling if it wasn't for that, but what it really sounds like is you are trying to justify doing what the pagans do, but saying you are not pagan, okay? So this is somebody who's responding to me talking about how sometimes I will worship God or go to church on Sundays. I celebrate Christmas, I celebrate Easter, okay? The WMSCOG, what they will immediately say to that is those are pagan, pagan origins. They're rooted in Satan. If you follow them, you're just simply doing what the pagans do and stamping the name of Jesus on it. Okay, here we go. If, if you're gonna use that argument against any Christian from this point forward, if you're gonna use that argument, you have to know this. You have to consider this to be consistent. This is the book you guys are using, okay? I'm talking to World Society Church of God members, leaders who I hope are watching, deacons, uh, whoever you are, think about this, okay? Page 463 of the New Song book. The title of the hymn is Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. That sounds strangely familiar. That is a Protestant Christian hymn that the World Mission Society Church of God has pulled out of a Christian hymnal. Keep in mind, a Christian hymnal that they would say is pagan, full of false demonic doctrines. Uh, in, in their minds, the church went astray, went into darkness um, after the apostles. Um, but yet they're pulling out hymnals from these Christian writers and authors who are teaching doctrine, even within the very hymnals that they're pulling from, teaching doctrine that the World Mission Society Church of God would say is evil, pagan, demonic, false. But yet they're using these hymnals and sticking them in their books and then using them to worship their God. Here's another example. Okay, so that's for Rock of Ages Cleft for Me. That is a Christian hymn. They didn't, the WSCUG did not write this. Um, another example, uh, This Is My Father's World, page 434. That, that is a Christian hymn. That hymn and, and the other one I showed you and these, these several others I'll show you that are just all throughout the pages of this book, th these Christian hymns are written from a Protestant <laughs> Christian ideology. Uh, this is my father's world. Again, page 434. Um, 429, my hope is built on nothing less. Another Christian hymn. Page 426, come you fount of every blessing, which should be come thou fount of every blessing is the actual name. 425, near my God to you or to thee. Um, 416, would you be free from your burden of sin? Okay, I think they changed the title on that one, but uh, these are Christian hymns. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you right here. Go and look in your new song book, and what you're gonna find scattered throughout the whole book is Protestant Christian hymns that the World Mission Society Church of God pulled out of these Christian hymnals, pulled from Christian uh, authors who wrote them, they stuck them in their own worship book. They changed some, some wording. They changed the titles here and there. And now they're using these, what they, what they would have to say are pagan originated hymnals. They are using them to worship their gods. So to go back to this comment from this member um, <clears throat> who says, to me, celebrating Christmas and Easter, he says, you're doing exactly as the pagans do, but throwing Jesus's name on it. Well, how in the world is that not exactly what you World Mission Society Church of God, what you are doing with your hymnal? You are literally taking what you have to say are pagan hymnals. You're pulling them out of these pagan books from these pagan authors who are filled, their minds are filled with belief in a, uh, a false satanic doctrine is what you'd say. They're blind, they're in darkness. They're writing these hymns, you know, uh, and you're using them now, you're sticking them in your worship, worship book. How is that not the same exact thing that you accuse 
Christians of doing. You say these Christians have taken these pagan holidays and they simply take them and, and put the name of Jesus on them and then claim to worship Jesus on the same day in some of the same ways that the pagans do. Well, that's what you're doing with this book. You're doing the same thing. Right now, I wanna say this to members watching. I believe so many of you are in this church not due to some willful desire to be deceived. You, none of you intentionally joined a cult. But if you're in the World Mission Society Church of God, you have joined a cult. Um, that might sound harsh, but that's the reality. That's what this is. And I'm saying this out of love and desire for you to know the truth, that you would listen to this. Think about the hypocrisy uh, of all of this. You guys sit in your church services and you sing from pagan hymnals to worship your gods. Please, before you continue in that doctrine, that ideology uh, that you're so deeply rooted in, that Christians are evil because of their holidays and their Sunday worship, you're doing the same thing, okay? And I encourage you members, think about this. Talk to me, email me, ask me questions. There is truth that the World Mission Society Church of God is not offering you. Um, and so to leaders, to deacons, and especially to the higher up leadership who decided to put all this stuff in this book and then is filtering through the World Mission Society Church of God doctrine, this, this, this idea of, of condemnation against Christians who celebrate Christmas and Easter, you have to see your hypocrisy here. This is incredibly hypocritical that some of the foundational doctrines that you've established in your church is, is this condemnation toward Christians who adopt pagan practices while you have done the same thing. So I'm gonna conclude with, with hymn number 429 <clears throat> that I just, I just referenced, but again, this is a Christian hymn. My hope is built on nothing less. This is, this is how they have it read. Uh, this is how they change it. It says in their new songbook, my hope is built on nothing less than Father's blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Father's name. Father being Ong Song Hong. They've removed the name of Jesus. They've removed the name of Christ from this hymn and stuck in Ong Song Hong, their idea of Ong Song Hong. Um, let me read how this should go, this hymn should go. This is what it should say. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus's blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus's name. On Christ, who is Jesus, not on Song Hong, on Christ Jesus, the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. They've taken that hymn, this hymn that sings about Jesus being the only rock and all other ground being sinking sand. They've taken that hymn and what have they done with it? Well, they've turned that hymn full of truth about the true gospel and they've turned that hymn into sinking sand. <laughs> that hymn is now sinking sand. If you trust in Ong Song Hong, you're gonna sink. It's not gonna take you anywhere. There is no salvation in him. All other ground is sinking sand. There's only one name by which we can be saved, and that is the name of Jesus. It is, Jesus is the only savior, okay? The Green Book talks about this. Ong Song Hong himself said that. Uh, that that'll be another video that I need to do, but he, he Ong Song Hong himself taught that both in this age and in the last days, we can only be saved through the name of Jesus. The things offered in here are sinking sand. And the things, the, the way they've pulled Christian hymns out of here and used them for their own worship, um, it's hypocritical. It completely dismantles this, this core argument that they constantly use against me and against other Christians. And it's a huge problem that you guys have to see and recognize and acknowledge. Turn to Christ, turn to Jesus, get out of this group, run from it, whatever it costs. It might cost you some things, but it is worth it. All other ground is seeking sand. Run to Jesus, the only rock. Run to him. Um, 
He is a solid rock. It's only through his blood and righteousness that you can, you can have peace. He will set you free. He will bring you truth. And he will plant your feet on, on the solid rock, um, which won't sink. <laughs>